Hey Tube, how are you doing? Um, I'm going to do a video here real quick of all of my small engines. It's going to take a minute, so first off here is my 4.5 4 GTS 2 um, Toro Recycler. It's a Briggs & Stratton Quantum. Um, I looked uh, model number up and it's um, close to a Quantum. Uh, I'm just going to call it a Quantum. Um, it looks just the same as that. Just a different cover. Yeah. Anyways. So, that I've got to tear down. There's my Quantum XTE, Briggs & Stratton. That is a 95. Oh, wait. Even newer. 01. Never mind. So that's an 01. The Cub Cadet, that's got to be torn down and rebuilt. My 5 horsepower rare Lawn Boy needs to be torn down, rebuilt. I've got most of the covers off on it already. My Lawn Boy back there, that runs. Jacobson runs well. Um, Yamoto motorcycle. That needs some help. Just don't have the cash to uh, repair it right now. Yeah, the seat's ripped, but that's easily sewn up. Yeah, just sew that back together, I know how. Um, Prolan, Prolan, blah, blah. Prolan, kind of vibe. Uh, 40, I think 50cc. Can't remember. Craftsman. Little chainsaw. I want to say 30 cc at most for that. Uh, high output though, it's got a lot of power. Um, here's your World War II era generator. Uh, military. It's been painted red though. When you take the covers off it, you can see the military green in there still. Got your McClawock um, weed eater. Weighs nothing. I received this for free. I'm going to fix it up, get it running. It's a carb. Uh, Ear Beaver. My awesome McClock. Uh, just needs a carb kit. I've got the filter and everything to it. That runs great. Got a lot of torque. It's your home light. Simply reliable home light. Um, this thing runs and works great. Never had a problem with it. It's, an, it's my edger. I don't use it very much though at all. There's my yard machines. 20, er, 31cc. It says 28 right there. But it's not a 28cc, it is a 31cc. You can see right there. I'll focus. See, it says 31cc right there. Engine displacement, 31cc. So I don't know why you put a 28cc on there. Come on, focus. Hello, focus. Anyways. So that's that. That runs great too. Never had a problem with it. Got a brand new fuel lines. Brand new um, primer on it. That's dry. This is dry. That's dry. That's dry. Uh, there's your ah, Tecumseh 3.5 horsepower. I use this to uh, start project engines, like uh, having problems starting an engine, like on that. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Here's your. Um, I had I've had this since it's brand new a Mantis. It just needs a carb kit. It's just been sitting there. I've never I haven't used it in a long time. My home light made by John Deere. As it says right there. Manufactured by John Deere. Runs great. It's gonna be sold here pretty soon though. Once uh, spring rolls around, I guess that's not soon, but once spring rolls around, it's gonna be sold. Um, here's something YouTube hasn't seen in a long time. My two horsepower four cycle Briggs and Stratton, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, gasoline made in USA. I've had this thing for a long, 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 long time. It's a real lawnmower. This thing just runs great. I replaced the gasket here that goes between the carb and the um, gas tank with leather. Gas tank is clean. As you can see in there, it's dried out too. It's been sitting under this tarp for a long time. It's got clean oil in it. And there's my MTD bottom tractor, 12 horsepower IC engine, my Wizard Plus, 18 horsepower V twin overhead valve IC, um, my Mur Murray Aerovac with the Tecumseh on it, my previous. Um, 
my previous propane lawnmower, starts one pole without choke or without a prime. So you just pull it and it starts. All right, time to head over in that direction, I believe. All right, there's my Easy Hoe with a TC2 Tecumseh on it. It's got a brand new carb kit in it. Runs great. I used it the other day to stir up my uh, compost pile. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight special. Um, the actual body itself is made in USA. This whole thing. It's an old, old uh, power trim. A Model 300. Manufactured Power Trim Company, Paramount, California. Anyways, um, that's what that is. It's got a 2.5 horsepower, which I think I might uh, modify, make it a little bit more powerful because that engine does not push quite enough. Like I can trim with it, just needs a little bit more power. So I might put that Tecumseh over there. That was in my shed, onto this. I'm not sure. Uh, but this thing works great. Needs a new blade. As you can see, it is very worn out. The blade should be out about here. Just brushing where that dirt stops. That's where it actually should be out too. So yeah, it needs a new blade. New blades are about 20 bucks though. So yeah, a little expensive. But yeah, I forgot to mention, um, that's what I used that to come see in the shed for actually. Is to get this engine running. I found which way the engine uh, turned and ran. Uh, made sure it was turning right. Then I would hook this belt up to the pulley on the, the Tecumseh. Sit the, the, sit the Tecumseh down on this, these tires and pull on it really hard and get this engine to turn over really fast. And it took a long time to get this engine running because there were just funny little things about it that didn't want to run. Now this thing starts first pull every single time. And I know most people hate it when I do this, but oh well, sorry. Anyways, um, next off here is a IDC, wait for it to focus here, it's an IDC power equipment, there you go, Interior Dynamics Corporation, probably mispronouncing that name, but it will, um, it's a 500 Supreme, it looks just like the one in the shed, the red uh, MTD, good engines though, let me tell you what, there's my Troy built, 31cc also, um, let me tell you what people, if you're going to get a weed eater, Go 31 cc's. Um, they're a little more expensive, but they last longer. You can work with them harder. You can go through thicker things with them. You know, 25 cc's. That's what I used to use all the time until I started getting 31s. Yeah, 31 cc's. Uh, absolutely kick trash. Yeah, so it's got new fuel lines also. This needs a new fuel line. It is gone. The fuel line that's was in it. Here's the fuel line that was in it. It's just, it's just toast. It's you can still bend it, but it's breaking at the ends. Um, next off is the match to my Wizard lawnmower. This is a Wizard Push. It had a cover right here. It said Wizard on it. I've got to find that. It's around here somewhere. This is a Wizard also. It's got a Quantum on it. Runs great. Starts great. As you can see, there's quite a bit of an oil leak. That's always been there. Um, yeah, this could use some new piston rings. I guess I could do that. I've got a lot of teardown projects uh, here. My Eager One scrappable engine. This is I'm scrapping that. That's toast. It runs, but I don't have a carb to it, so it's no big to me. Now my 40cc Vista scooter, which I got to do a lot of work on now. I've just been running around a whole lot, and the pipe down in the bottom here, that, um, that down there, I've got to bend it all back and put a reinforcement on the bottom because I've actually uh, worn the bottom of the pipe out. You can see that. You can see that I've worn out the bottom of the pipe. So I've got to reinforce that. I'm not going to replace the pipe because replacing the pipe is way too much work. So I'm just going to bend it back and me or TIG weld um, a new half of the pipe down there. And while I'm at it, see if I can get this pipe to curve up a little bit so I've got a little bit more room so I don't hit anything anymore. But yeah, that's my 41cc. I've also got, I didn't show it, I've got another one of those in the back back there. Right there. I can't zoom, but it's right back there. It's the same exact mower, except that one runs. No wait, I take that back, it's right there. 
anyways, here's my new, my brand new um, propane lawnmower. It's my new one. I gotta find a place for that propane tank. Uh, this is my new one though. Uh, the old one, I've retired. This is my new one. 5.3 horsepower Tecumseh. Um, I don't like Tecumseh's, but they run on propane very well. Here's your diamond power, extra performance, which is true. This thing's got a lot of power. It's a 5.5 horsepower. There's a Stratton. My neighbor just went by. Um, that runs great. Starts great. I use that every Wednesday. 5.3 horsepower. Briggs and Stratton. Did I say 5.3? Sorry. It's getting upside down. 3.5. <laughs> uh, 148 cc engine. I haven't used it in a while. It just needs to be started. It's got a little bit of a custom pipe here. Why? I don't know. I just put that on there. My piece of crap engine. I hate that stupid freaking engine. I mean, with I loathe it. I loathe it so much that I wish I could take it out in the desert and shoot it. I'd actually like to see this engine blow up. But I probably won't do that because it's got good parts inside still, so I'm not going to be stupid. Ah, my whirlwind, my rare Toro whirlwind. You cannot find these anymore. It's, good. it's the electric start edition. Take that off. Goes up in there. Key goes in here. So on and so forth. Um, I just need to clean the, the thing out again. And my cell phone's ringing. i got to clean out the uh, carburetor. That's what I'm getting at. And next off here is just like the other one. 3.5 horsepower Eager One. Um, got a brand new primer bulb on it. Oh, it has no filter. Ah, I did not know that. This one's for cell. And there goes my phone again. Alrighty, my cell phone's shut off now. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, a for sale. Um, I've got it in a local paper and on Craigslist. Um, and another website, local website. Um, but yeah, it's. I want this thing gone. I'm really getting tired of these lawnmowers. Um, it runs. It has a tiny little leak around the carburetor, which I don't even think it has anymore. Because it holds gas. No, I take that back. I guess it does have it because the gas tank is dry. So yeah, it's got a little bit of a leak around the carburetor. I can fix that, but I, I really don't feel like it. I just, I'm really tired of these lawnmowers. Once you fix one thing, another thing breaks. So I'm going to leave it just like it is. <laughs> but yeah, it needs... I need it gone. comes with a bagger. I, I said 15 bucks. It runs. Very small little leak. 15 bucks. First 15 bucks comes and takes it. I really don't care. Um, I said... And then after about a month of sitting, I said 15 bucks or best offer. I really want this stupid thing gone. I'm really that sick and tired of it. I don't like this one more at all. So yeah, that's the news on that. It's got a whole bunch of crap sitting on it. Junkaroo. I just might push this out to the, the street. I might just put it out on the street and put a free sign on it. Runs free. Come and take it. I don't care. Ah. I think I'll put a free. I think I'll put a for sale sign on it out of the street. If anybody calls me on it, I'll give it to them for like I don't know five bucks. I want to get something out of it because it's got new oil in it. I've rebuilt the carb. It's got a new. Yeah, I need more than. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if I. <sighs> it's kind of a lost cause. So that's pretty much it. So my small engines, other than my uh, my bike engine. You know, my bicycle, my bike kit engine. Uh, it doesn't go on that. I'm just saying, uh, pointing where it would go. Um, that I've got to fix. I've got to rebuild it or something because it just does not hit the revs like it used to. It doesn't hit the revs up high like it uh, is supposed to. So that's. I've got to order some parts for that. Some uh, new piston rings, pour the cylinder out or something. I don't know. Make it better. So see you later, YouTube. Bye.